Let's start with AT&T, the parent company which coordinates the activities and policies of all the companies in the system. Each of the operating companies serves a specific area of the United States and Canada. Each has its own duties and responsibilities, but all work closely with AT&T, which provides advice and assistance whenever needed. Within its own territory, each operating company supplies local and long distance service. And AT&T, through its long lines department, connects each company with the other, uniting them into an integrated system. Long Lines also connects the Bell system with the thousands of independent telephone companies. In effect, it furnishes the links that make nationwide telephone service possible. It builds and operates the radio relay towers that carry calls across the continent. It supervises the laying of underwater cables that enable people to call across the seas. And although many people aren't aware of it, Long Lines also provides the channels that radio and television broadcasters use for their nationwide networks. Western Electric is an equally important partner of the Bell system. It serves as the system's manufacturing arm. And from its plants throughout the country come the millions and millions of telephones that the Bell companies require to serve a growing nation. Western also produces the vast amounts of cable that are needed to interconnect all these telephones. And it builds and installs the dial switching equipment and switchboards used in most central offices. In addition to manufacturing cable and communication equipment, Western also serves as the supplier for the entire Bell system. This means that the companies not only depend on it for their telephone apparatus, but also their other everyday supplies, such as paper clips, typewriter ribbon, and anything else they need. Naturally, Western Electric doesn't make all these things itself. As a matter of fact, most of the items are purchased from more than 33,000 industrial firms across the country. From its warehouses strategically located over the nation, Western Electric is able to rush communications equipment to any stricken area in times of emergency. This equipment is so standardized that crewmen brought from any operating company of the Bell system can use it without further instruction. This assures efficient and rapid restoration of service. Then there is the extremely important part that both Western Electric and the Bell Telephone Laboratories are playing in building the nation's military defense system. Both have had much to do in the design and construction of such projects as the Dew Line and SAGE, and in the development and manufacture of guided missiles. Telephone Laboratories is the research and development partner in the Bell system. It is one of the largest and most experienced industrial laboratories in the world. And it is uniquely qualified to do the design work for both military and civilian communications equipment. Its job is to provide America with the communications of the future, as it has already designed the communications of the present. The laboratory's modern research centers are staffed by scientists and engineers planning years ahead, searching, designing, seeking new knowledge and new understanding. Their aim is to continually develop better tools and equipment to improve telephone service, and to do it in such a way as to assure efficient and economic operation. The achievements of Bell Laboratories researchers are many ranging through all branches of the communications field. One of their latest advances in telephone progress is leading to new systems of automatically switching telephone calls. These systems are so radical in design that they promise to bring tomorrow's customers a multitude of almost undreamed of services. 
The tiny device which will make these electronic switching systems possible is the revolutionary transistor. Invented at the laboratories, the transistor brought Bell scientists one of the two Nobel Prizes they have won for discoveries in physics. Though it was primarily developed for the betterment of telephone communications, the versatile transistor now appears in a staggering variety of devices and equipment. It has become an important factor in the growth of many new industries, a development that is welcomed by the telephone company. Welcomed because it is in the pattern of service that is traditional with every phase of telephone operation. From its very beginning, service has been an inseparable part of the telephone story. As inseparable as the telephone company's long and continuing association with the communities of America. The My Towns everywhere who gave it the opportunity to be of service. They have grown together, these cities and villages of America and their telephone companies. Good friends and good neighbors. They share the responsibilities of good citizenship. Telephone people are proud of those responsibilities, both on the job and as individual citizens helping their communities in their own ways. They are proud of being part of their town's hopes and joys. Proud of being able to further its communications, whatever the hour. Proud and happy to be of service.